gentlemen, boys and girls, he, she, they's and them. Welcome back to another video of Misma Passion, YouTube's premier channel on all things women's football. Now, I wanna just take a while and make you picture this. You're playing FIFA on whatever console, be it PC, Switch, for those who play Switch, or Xbox and PS5, for those who can afford one nowadays. And you're playing manager mode. And you're going all the way with your national team in the World Cup. And you say to yourself, hmm, I've done it. Regardless of what difficulty you're doing, whether it's beginner, professional, world class, or you're just a psycho, you go all the way, 100%. But have you ever stopped to think and say, I wonder if I can go all the way without conceding a single goal? Now, the reason why I say this is because if you look at real life, it's been done. And no, it's not by the USA. And no, it's not by Brazil either. It was actually done by the German women's team in 2007. Now the 2007 Women's World Cup held in China was just crazy for so many reasons. Whether it was the individual performances by the usual culprits like Marta and Abby Wambach, or the crazy score lines that were being posted up by the German champions. The World Cup here was just phenomenal. And speaking of phenomenal, we really, really, really need to talk about the German women's team. Headed up by coach Sylvia Knight, the German women's team of 2007 consisted of some top level names that casual fans won't recognize, but you just had to be there to know the who's who of the women's team. And some of those names were Nadine Angerer, I apologize if I have butchered that name, who was the starting goalkeeper for the team. Also, there was Sandra Smisek, who was at 115 caps at the time of the tournament, Bridget Prince, who was the captain of the national team, and Renat Lingor, who was also in 100 plus cap territory. This women's team was undoubtedly a who's who of German football who played for teams that are just unrecognizable to the casual fan of today. You won't see teams like Bayern or Dortmund that are filtered there. The only recognizable team of this entire squad is Wolfsburg, but that's besides the point. Another interesting thing of note is to see how this German team only consists of 21 players in total. And that's a really, really small roster because essentially that is your starting 11, your seven substitutions, and your three reserve players. That is not enough. So when you now look at their achievement at this World Cup, you get to appreciate it much more and acknowledge the greatness that was the 2007 German women's national team. Now given that they are the focus of today's video, the German women's team is going to be our point of interest today and special shout outs will be given to other teams towards the end of the video. Now back to the champions. They were paired up in Group A against England, Japan and Argentina. And if one were to look at the men's side, that would be a very tantalizing and delicious group to watch football for. But on the women's side, it was very much the opposite because Germany steamrolled everyone. This group began with Germany absolutely clobbering Argentina 11-0, which was then the widest margin of victory by any team in the world when it came to the Women's World Cup. And this record would stand up until 2019 when the USA broke it when they faced off against Thailand in the 2019 World Cup in France. Germany would then go on to draw 0-0 with England and then win their final group game against Japan 2-0. In the quarterfinals, Germany was pitched against North Korea which they clobbered 3-0 and it was the same for Germany when it came against Norway in the semifinals. In the finals, it was more of the usual suspects, as Germany went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brazil and came out victorious with a 2-0 victory over the Brazilian women. Now when one hears the words 21-0, they usually think to themselves, that was the Undertaker's streak before it was broken. But no, that's not what it's about. 21-0 tells you that the German women's team scored 21 goals and they conceded zero. Yes, absolutely nothing. They did not concede a single goal, no matter what, even in their draw against England. Again, like I said before, that was nil-nil. Now, there may have been something in the German water or the Chinese air, but throughout the entirety of that tournament, Nadine Angerer, the German women's team goalkeeper, just channeled her inner Gandalf and really said to the opposition team, You shall not pass! 
and indeed not a single ball went past her that tournament not even in the final where brazil won a penalty and Guerrero made sure to save that penalty and make sure that she kept all of her clean sheets from beginning to end this national team was just one of the best ever Apart from the defensive exploits of superheroine Nadine Angara and her defensive line, up front it was the same. It was just phenomenal performance again and again as Germany only failed to score in just one game and that was against England. Goals were literally flying in from everywhere whether it was the defense or the midfield or the forward line. And this was just amplified when you see that. Half of their goals were scored in one match against Argentina which again was a record for 12 straight years until the USA broke it in 2019. Which just goes to show that this women's team had come for blood and nothing was going to stand in the way of victory. When looking at this German team of 2007, it can safely be said that this was one of the most complete teams in all of football history. Whether it was through their defensive or offensive exploits, somehow they found results and it wasn't just fluke results. These results were concrete, they were inevitable. They were the kind of results that made you sit up and say, the other team had no chance whatsoever against the Germans. Ultimately, more respect needs to be put on the name of the 2007 German women's team, because going from the beginning to the end of a World Cup tournament without conceding a single goal is deserving of all the respect and adulation and adoration of football fans worldwide. As much as they may not have reached the exploits that the US eventually did in 2019 by 100%ing the entire tournament and not suffering a single draw or loss, what the German women's team did is simply unbelievable and highly unlikely to ever happen again at a World Cup in the future. In this humble football YouTuber's opinion, the likes of the 2007 German national women's team will never be seen again and this was truly a one-of-a-kind experience for those who managed to witness it in person. For those who want to witness it now, the final of this tournament is available on FIFA's YouTube channel and is really worth a watch. All credit goes to Sylvia Knight and her team for their exploits at this tournament and truly this was a spectacle to the point that this is what the top coaches dream of having when they come to national teams. Johan Cruyff would be proud. If anything, Sylvia Knight blew him out of the water because she achieved total football. Now before we wrap up this video, a couple of honorable mentions need to go out to both the Brazil and the US women's teams. Now, in a kind of ironic twist, the Brazil women's team won 99% win run and just needed to overcome the Germans in the final to actually become the first team to achieve 100% win rate in a World Cup. But unfortunately, it would be their semi-final opponents, the USWNT, who would have that achievement in 2019. Another honorable mention goes out to Marta, who was the top goal scorer and the Golden Ball winner with 7 goals and 5 assists and just to put the cherry on top of the cake, the goal of the tournament. And one more shout out to Abby Wambach, who came in second place on the top goal scorer charts with six goals and one assist. That is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment on anything that you might want to see pertaining to women's football in the future. See you next time.